Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal Night. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, Sag, this is your Tarot Expresso, guys. Uh, this is a new series I came up with since um, I'm having issues with my phone again. So I'm using a really, you know, shitty phone. I'm not gonna lie, but it does the job. And so I don't have pretty much space in it, you know, on this phone. It's a Samsung, and I'm an Apple girl. So I definitely don't know how it operates. It's just a mess. But it does the job. So um, I came up with this thing called Terror Expresso. So it's like straight to the point messages from Spirit for you. And yeah. So let's find out if your espresso is going to be sweet, bitter. Is there cream in it? Is there whipped cream? Is it? Is there sugar cane? Is there sweet and low? We don't know. So let's find out. Hi, Sag. So we're going to get some tarot and then we'll get a couple of oracle cards, okay? How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. Happy Sunday. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? I mean, Aquarius. Okay. What do we have for Sagittarius? Also, I wanted to say that uh, before I shut down, um, I had a download. Uh, I I heard travel, which makes sense because you guys will travel. So it could just be me tapping into your energy. But however, I heard strongly London. Okay, so that might mean something, mean something to you. Maybe you guys are in London. Maybe there's a trip to London planned or something. Something to do with London. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, what do we have for Sag, please? What's their Tarot Expresso? Sag. Knight of Pentacles reversed. First, I just bet. Sorry. Knight of Pentacles reversed. First card. Feeling um, financially insecure. Scared of being um, losing money. Fear of losing money. Then we have the King of Cups. Then we have the strength card. There's help on the way though. This King of Cups individual is definitely here to help. Is somebody um, really um, loving. It could be a father. It's an older person. I'm feeling male energy. That's here, that's going to help you, okay? The strength is giving me your energy, which is like, yeah, you gaining confidence again and um, courage again and just like um, feeling like you can breathe. Somebody's coming in to give you a breather, basically, okay? And it has to do with your finances. It's a loving person. We have two of wands. They might be coming from afar. Maybe that's the travel I was feeling. Because, uh, yeah, two of wands. They might be traveling towards you or you traveling towards them. It's something to look forward to for sure. It's going to give you definitely a new perspective and a breathing um It's gonna help. it's gonna ease you. It's gonna it's it's gonna ease your mind. It's gonna give you a breather. You know, it's gonna like allow you to have perspective and um, hope again. Two more cards, please, spirit. So yeah, help is on its way. Yep, eight of one. Somebody's traveling towards you. Definitely felt travel. Mm -hmm. Somebody's coming towards you here. You're going to first get a message from them. Or they might just come in and surprise you. Maybe they know what the situation is. Um, it's unexpected. But, oh my gosh, it's going to be like, you're going to be so happy and like, whew, relieved, you know. Because, yeah, you've been struggling on something financially, work situation, something to do with... Um, also, um, just, 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 just your livelihood, you know, could be money, 
it could be a living situation. Well, that involves money too, doesn't it, all the time? Fire cups under the strength card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I feel like saying this out of the blue. Spirit wants me to say some of you broke up recently or left your roommates. Or anyway, your living situation abruptly and suddenly you had to leave. Whether it was a partner in love or roommates or whatever. Your living situation has changed. And you had to leave and it took you by surprise and maybe you don't know what to do. But help is on its way. Help is on its way. Somebody's coming here to help you. Okay, so stay strong. Be optimistic. Right? Yeah, this person's going to bring back your optimism. Just when you thought you lost it all and you were alone. They're going to take you out of your despair. Why am I still shuffling? We already have the six cards. Yeah. Ten of Swords, they're going to take you out of your despair. Yeah, this person, I mean, whomever you, this living situation, they took you by surprise. Um, you know, maybe uh, the scenario I'm, I'm seeing for some of you is that you live with a person and suddenly they're like, oh, my brother's coming in. You know, you have to leave. Maybe you guys didn't have a contract, a written cr contract. You thought this person was your friend. Well, they pretty much didn't have your back. <laughs> they didn't have your back. Somebody left you out in the cold, stranded. You know, I'm feeling five cups energy here. It's funny, lately I've been feeling energies of cards that are not here. And it's usually when I have all the cards that I feel that the energy. I definitely feel five of cups energy here for you. You know, being left out in the cold, without warning. Everything was just perfect. Everything was good. You had everything set up and all of a sudden... Boom, you know, no warning. But don't worry, Sag, help is on its way. Now, I don't know what London has to do with all of this, but you know, I guess, right? So now let's get some oracles. Let's see. So I'm mixing the um, Starseed Oracle and the Work Your Life, both by Rebecca Campbell. Here it goes again, hiding the Starseed Oracle. I'm telling you, this is eerie. Okay, so this is the Starseed Oracle, and this is the Work Your Light, okay? So I mixed both of them, and let's see what we get for you. Spirit, what do we have for Sag? Sagittarius. This reading was pretty quick. not like your living situation it's job it's your job you know now you, you you lost your job or something you were let go abruptly and now it's like you're like how am I gonna pay my rent what's going on what am I gonna do how am I gonna feed myself and all that stuff so if it's not literal like living situation it's definitely you know uh, your livelihood you know food a roof Something like that, you know, Sust your sustainability, <laughs> live, you know, to live, to live. So it's food, it's an, a roof on top of your head or something like that. Okay. So let's see. Spirit wants me to tell you, do not worry, Sag. Help is on the way, okay? There's an, un, there's an unexpected event that throws you off balance, and it's just sudden, it's abrupt. It's, you know, it's kind of a mini tower. And at first you're going to feel like, oh my God, what the hell am I going to do now? But help is on the way, okay? No worries. All right, Spirit, what's up for Sag? Oracle for Sag. There we go. <clears throat> Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So if some of you, you know, um, somebody comes in your mind that can help you, but you're like, no, 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 I don't want to bother them. I don't want to contact them. Um, this Eight of Cups individual here. Go ahead and send them a message because they are 
the one that can, they are actually the one that can help you. Spirit is actually, um, somehow your intuition is telling you something. So listen to your intuition. If you are thinking of somebody that can help you, reach out because that person can indeed help you. Whatever you're thinking in this situation, it's your intuition speaking to you. So do not doubt it. Okay? Do not doubt it. So trust the niggle is all about trusting your intuition, guys. Okay? Maybe somebody has an, you know, it's an old friend that has a room or maybe it's an old friend that, you know, that really cares about you, but you kind of like just met them or, you know, it's not, um, you kind of feel a certain type of way that you don't want to ask them because you're like, that's, it's not, you know, that's not the type of friendship you guys have. Listen, this person uh, cares more than you think, okay? So don't be afraid to reach out. You don't have to do this alone, you know? It's good that you want to be strong, you want to be courageous, you know, but you don't have to do this alone. I feel like there's a solution at hand, and you have to trust that right now. Because obviously, I feel like you don't have much of a choice here, Sag, okay? Let's see what the angel has for you. So you got to um, work your light oracle. Let's see. Let's see what we have from the angels. Spirit, what's that for Sag, please? Angel of Romance. Hmm. Yeah, so this person, maybe it's uh, somebody that you feel has feelings for you. Maybe you they told you, but you turned them down because you didn't have the same feelings. And now you're like, you know, it's, I feel like it's this King of Cups. And I feel like you're like, gosh, I turned them down. But I mean, I feel like you know that they can help you. But it's like you don't want to mix things up since you, and then you know they love you. You don't want to be... Um, you don't want to have to owe them something, you know. You might feel guilty. It's just complicated, you know. It's complicated to mix the friendship and the romance aspect of this um, partnership or this relationship. I feel like it's somebody that really has feelings for you, but you turn them down. Maybe they express their feelings and you said like, no, I think we should just be friends, you know. And they were really heartbroken by that. Five of Cups. But they still are around, you know, maybe you cut, you know, t ties with them because you didn't want to mix things up. You know, you're like, oh, it's best I just like back off because I don't want to hurt them. I already turned them down. You know, you maybe haven't spoken to them in a while. But believe me, they can help you. Don't, you know, spirit says, if you feel it in your gut, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. There's a reason why this person came up, you know, in your thoughts, in your gut. There's a reason. Okay, now maybe it's somebody that you know has feelings for you because you just know, right? But you, they never said anything and you're like, oh, I'm going to feel like I'm taking advantage of them if they ask them for help. Spirit says, no, don't worry about that. Trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition. So, yeah. This could be also somebody, like I said, who you're friends with and you either of you don't even think about romance but maybe this might be the start of a beautiful romance okay maybe somebody might be like okay move in with me you know or just come to london i'm here in london i don't know why come you know come here for a while you know whatever i have space da 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 and then it turns out to be this beautiful romance so every you know there's a there's a there's a blessing in disguise in whatever is happening here whatever this is sudden abrupt you know um thing is that ch changes everything for you in your living situation it's almost like it's a tower to redirect to write whatever this is is a tower that is redirecting you to romance in a nutshell this is a this is a tower this thing that seems like, oh my gosh, is actually, I know it's crazy, 
is meant to redirect you to romance. Out of this thing here comes romance. Okay, Sag? That's what I want to say. So that's good. We like it. And this person is an earth angel. Look at this. Somebody sitting on a bench completely like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And then there comes that angel. Whoever this person, this King of Cups is, is actually your earth angel, is an earth angel. And they might even be your soulmate, guys. And this is the beginning. This is how it was supposed to happen. This is how it, this thing just clicks, you know, and the niggle, the click. You'll feel it. You will feel it. You will feel it, okay? If you guys are just friends, whatever. I feel like they're older than you, though, a little bit. All right? Okay, well, Sag, that's pretty interesting. Hmm, very. It seems like a movie, a romance movie. Really beautiful. I like it. It's a blessed, it's a blessed union here. But it had to happen weird like this. It's very weird energy. It's serendipity. That's what it is. I feel serendipity here. Okay? So, I love you, Sag. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. If you want a personal reading, my email's below. If you want to donate, my PayPal's below. And I will see you next time. Bye, Sag.